Hello, you guys. So, um, this is another palette challenge. Um, this is the third one that I did. Uh, yeah, so let's start explaining. Uh, so, as you heard in the last episode or whatever, uh, I was having quite some style issues and I didn't like the way things were turning out and I didn't like the big thick line that I was using and I, I love huge thick lines but like I don't know I just didn't I wasn't feeling it this day or I, I guess it wasn't working I don't know but instead I tried to do something else no I actually remember like I specifically was like I don't think my comic has to be with the style that I made up like I, I didn't like it <laughs> So I was like, I'm going to try something else and see how quickly I can do it and see if it's like viable for the thing that I want to do. And so I tried a more painting style or whatever and dun dun dun, I feel miserably. <laughs> um, like it's not that it was bad, it's that I didn't know how to finish it. So it's kind of super sketchy and I didn't know particularly how to make it not super sketchy. And I mean, like, it's like in this weird place between illustration and painting. And that's ha that happens a lot with all of the digital pieces that I do. But I, I wasn't like, like usually I can finish it because I'm like there to like take time on it. And I'll just experiment a lot and see what works. But I wasn't here for doing this for that, for, for this thing because it's the palette challenge. And it's supposed to be very quick, like, if it's more than two hours then obviously I've done something wrong and once I hit like the vague two hour mark I was like I'm just gonna let it be whatever it is right now and I'm gonna post it like <laughs> like yeah like just doing things and letting them not be as good as you want like that's such a hard thing for artists to have to deal with actually but it's a thing that you do have to deal with, especially when you start like producing a lot of work in like large volumes. Like not everything is gonna be as good as you want it to be. And I totally think that's the thing that happened with this like a combination of wanting to experiment and not being satisfied and you know, not being familiar with your medium. All of those things equals this. Um, but yeah, like, I don't, it's not bad, like, I don't think it's bad at all, like, one of the big reasons why I wanted to try something different is because I liked it so much, and I just didn't think that the style that I was doing fit with what, what, what this was or whatever, and, like, I really liked his anatomy, and I, like, referenced, uh, like, I don't know, Renaissance paintings, I guess, and, like, I was using, like, the anatomy that they had, and I was trying to like get my character to be similar, sort of. Like I wanted him to have like a similar muscle structure and stuff. Because like the High Renaissance, like yeah, is like great or whatever, but don't get it confused with like perfect anatomy because it definitely is not perfect anatomy. It's definitely exaggerated in some point. And I sort of wanted to mimic that exaggeration. And it's good. Like it's cool. I like it. Like I mean, it didn't turn out, like, perfect, but it's cool. Uh, definitely better muscle structure than I usually have. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are like, I want to study anatomy, and I want to get better at anatomy, but, like, I don't think my anatomy is, like, that bad, actually. Like, like I did study anatomy for a brief moment, but mostly I just kind of drew, and I don't think my anatomy is, like horrible I, I think my posing is kind of bad but I don't think my posing is bad because of anatomy I think it's just like I, I don't know I don't know what to do with my posing but <laughs> I, I don't think my anatomy is like horrible or anything um but yeah I mean I totally can practice anatomy more uh and you know like like I like that super exaggerated look of like the like the super muscles and like the like mega chisels or whatever so I might like uh, practice that some more because why not? Might as well. Um, in general, I don't draw boys that much. I mean, I know I know it might not seem like it because the next few paintings or whatever that I'm gonna upload is gonna be boys, but I definitely don't draw boys that much. And I think that like really cool exaggerated anatomy looks good 
especially on like the male figure for the female figure i want to get a lot better at like fat like i mean once i get better at fat on the female figure i'm gonna get a lot better at fat on the male figure but i want to like learn how to like add fat and like details like cellulite and that kind of stuff and for the male figure i kind of want to learn how to add bulk a lot better so this is kind of an experiment in that uh yeah he cool i like him i like his color palette <laughs> amazingly <laughs> in the color palette <laughs> challenge i like his colors but uh thanks for watching please like subscribe follow my instas cool thanks <laughs>